Let's start with the Nike history. In 1964, Nike founded as Blue Ribbon Sports. The company is created by Bill Bowerman and Phil Knight with $1,200 in Portland, Oregon. In 1971, officially becomes Nike Incorporated. In 1984, Nike signs Mike Jordan. In 1988, the slogan Just Do It is coined. It was inspired by a serial killer, Gary Gilmore. The first Just Do It campaign is launched with running icon Walt Stack. In 1995, Nike signs an apparel contract with the NFL, initially outfitting a few teams. In 1996, Nike signs Tiger Woods. In this year, Nike revenues is at $6.74 billion. In 2003, Nike pays $309 million to acquire Converse. In this year also, Nike signs Lebron James. Then, in 2008, Nike signs Derek Jeter. In 2012, Nike becomes the NFL's official on-field supplier for uniforms, sideline apparel and practice wear. In 2015, Nike signs a deal to become the official apparel supplier of NBA beginning in 2017. Nike raises its fiscal year 205 revenue target to $28 billion. Well, you guys must be wondering, who is leading Nike today? I know. Mark Parker. Mark Parker was born in October 21, 1955. Parker was born in Poughkeepsie, New York, the son of Elizabeth and Bruce Parker. He earned his bachelor's degree in political science at Penn State University in 1977. He is married to Kathy Parker and has three children, Jennifer, Megan, and Matthew. Parker joined Nike in 1979 as a footwear designer. He has committed to ensuring that Nike remain environmentally conscious. After 10 years of work, Parker and his team launched the first green shoe. He is also responsible for other brands, Converse and Hurley, while CEO of Nike in 2012. Mark G. Parker earned a total compensation of $15,425,608. After being promoted to chairman in 2016, Mark Parker's compensation tripled to over $47.6 million, $33.5 million of which came from stock rewards. In 2016, he ranked 14th in the New York Times list of highest paid CEOs with an annual paycheck of $47.6 million. In 2017, Parker took a 71% pay cut due to a year of poor sales at Nike and the layoff of 1,000 employees. Subsequently, he will earn $13.9 million this year from stock and options. I wonder, what is Parker's leadership style? I am practicing participatory leadership style. I am a thoughtful but an introvert CEO. I take a meticulous approach to product development known as design thinking. When Parker noted that Nike's R&D department was exploring with a total of 350 new ideas, he recognized that this number was too high. He pushed the staff to make some hard choices. Then he got personally involved, not in personally editing out projects but working with his department. With Parker's involvement, the R&D team cut the idea list down to 50. I end up asking a lot of questions and I also don't believe in micromanaging. I elicit ideas from my staff and then encourage people along to refine them. I trust my staff to know what to do. I love to solicit ideas from junior members of the team. I like to pull raw ideas out and put them in the spotlight. I like to celebrate the fact that ideas can come from anywhere. Little side projects can grow into multi-billion dollar franchises. Since coming to the office, Parker has more than doubled Nike sales and has been described as the world's most creative CEO. Nike is, today, the world leader across many athletic shoe categories. It holds a 62% market share of the U.S. athletic shoe market.